Okay, so tonight we're going to do a little um, fix for GZ Doom um, because it works really well on the Raspberry Pi. If you follow my guide that I've got uh, that installs 3.4.1, um, which is a native version of the program, um, it works great. Uh, but there's a little issue when you close the program it doesn't save the settings so here it is all working and notice it's in full screen um, and the game works absolutely brilliantly and you can load mods into it and all sorts of stuff so fantastic yeah we like that okay but when we quit the game you're going to find that um, you get a crash there it is, a fatal error, and it basically can't write what's called the INI file, which saves all the settings. Um, so, uh, what I've done is I've re-edited that INI file, because what would happen is you'd go back to standard resolution, which would be a very small screen, um, and you'd also have the standard control settings, whereas most people using first-person shooters will use WASD um, and a mouse. So, what I've done is I've customed that file i've uploaded it to a dropbox and i'm going to give you that uh, link so that you can download it and put it into your file system so today i'm going to show you how to do that first of all you need to open your file system and you need to go up to where it says view and you need to make sure that show hidden files is checked um, then we're going to go to pi and we are going to go to dot config Okay, so first of all, let's just um, set this so it's arranged correctly. We want it arranged by name. Dot config. There we go. Open up that one and scroll down till you see GZ Doom. Double click on that. And this is where the any file is stored that runs um, GZ Doom and also any WAD files that you want to load. The WAD files, where's all the data files? Uh, what gives the game its um, whether it's running Doom 1, Doom 2, a custom mod pack, whatever. Okay, so these are really important. So, this file here, um, all you've got to do is download the file that I've given you, copy it, and then right click and paste it into this file, overwriting the original INI file, um, INI file and then when you close the game or start the game it will run that custom file and you'll have the 720p in full screen and you'll have the WASD setup as your control system okay so it's as simple as that go to the Dropbox link download the INI file gzdoom.ini and drop it into uh, .config forward slash gzdoom okay and that'll be it, all fixed. Um, if you find this useful, please like and subscribe, leave a comment. That would be fantastic. It'd be good to hear from you. Um, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. Rip and tear.